what you do to welcome back to the part two of the blogger series so in this series i'm going to be taking you through another important step that you should take to optimize your blogger website to rank on the search engine so we're going to be ensuring that we are updating the seo settings on the blogger so this is the theme we had in the previous video and once again you can head over to guiabi templates you they have a bunch of awesome themes that are seo responsive that you can download for your blog i just extracted the theme look for the upload the xml document if you haven't watched that video i'll leave a link to it in the description so let's continue so the first and most important things we're going to so go over to the blogger backend first and most click on settings right here on the left menu and it should take you to right these here. settings you see right here so the first and most important thing your title will automatically be there because we, we chose it at the start right. of the video that uh, i talked about so the other thing we need to add we need to add description for your website so the, thing we need to the description add. is just telling google and uh, other search engines and people who are coming to your website about what Welcome. you do your business or you are or what you write about so for this case you just type in here random more case, stuff so you can say welcome to then you add your blogger url then you say here we talk about then add some keywords related to the niche okay. that you chose in the previous video so okay the keyword so for this example our niche is numerology so we can talk about something like uh numbers then we can talk about uh, life parts. Then we can talk about uh, numerology. All these are keywords that uh, let the search engines and people know that your website is about these specific topics. So that is it. So go ahead and uh, write uh, something here. It will so be, I think, a uh, hundred something words. And if your I English think, is not uh, so good, you can go ahead and download English. the Grammarly free extension is 100 percent free you don't need to pay for anything so go ahead and use that extension it will i use that in my on my website and it's really helpful so the second thing we need to manage to think about is the google Indeed. analytics property id so this is going to help you track the performance on your website so this is really important because we need to know what pages are sending us traffic so that we can replicate them so the google analytics okay, id yeah. when you click on this it will ask you the for that id analytics. and to get that id okay. you head over to your google analytics and if get you don't have ID. a google analytics account you can create one it's 100 percent free you yeah. can watch a bunch of tutorials but it's going to be straightforward just watch head over there watch. look for That's google cool. analytics you will find it yeah. then head over there and create an account so find it. ensure yeah. you're using the same email you use for blogger for google analytics and google search console as i will explain later on in the video so what you need to do in case so for me i already have a google what analytics I account so, so for me, if I you don't have, have one you head over there then you'll be able to create a new oh, one no. it's free just click in and sign in with your email then you will need to create a property to create a property just then simply click on create a property your screen the screen you're seeing right now will be different so just follow google the the basic tutorial you'll be just able to learn on the same screen in just a couple tutorial, of clicks so what you need to do here is just That's to go it. ahead and uh, i'm gonna just call this a test so that we ca i can show I you then um so, so that i can show you what you need to do so then, um, to get that id so you head over here where it says admin so, so you can also access that so down here if you are already logged in in your it. google analytics so it will be a screen down there it's that says uh admin so you go ahead choose your country this is important because you need to get go data ahead, from your, your time zone so for me i'll go ahead and choose my time country zone. so i'm going to choose canada then uh, the time zone so choose your specific time zone i'm going to choose uh, where is it at dawson time let's go with that then this doesn't matter then you click on show advanced options i don't know why they've matter. made uh, finding uh, this google analytics uh, id finding. difficult but uh it's it's under the advanced options but, uh, when you click on show advanced the, options it should bring this up then click on enable this and uh, you should be able to add your website url so the website url is this url here just click on copy then head over to google analytics and paste that url on v and yeah uh, that you are you, you want to ensure that you're clicking on the create a universal analytics sure property only so you don't want to choose this you are clicking on the second option here 
and this will give you that uh, that uh, this will that specific UAI number that we're gonna paste into the back end here. So for me, I've already, I think, I don't know why it's not showing up, but your screen will be different since you have already automatically approved my website with Google Analytics and uh, Search Console before even making this video. So so for you, you just need to go ahead and copy that UID, then paste it in the back end. So let's move on. So the favicon, you can use Canva, I, then the, the dimensions for the favicon are going to be 16 by 16. Sure. So if you can't use Canva, you can go ahead and just use the logo template they have in Canva. It will work the same, but if you can't create the 16 by 16 uh, specific and dimensions, then you can use the logo template they have in Canva and create something simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. So the favicon is something that appears here. So for the blogger, the, their favicon is this B, orange U, or the, the orange background with the white B, so that's their favicon. So that's something that appears here right along the website that's name and URL. So that's the favicon. Go ahead and upload it here by clicking on the on the favicon thing right here, and you should be able favicon. to upload it. So that's, that's it. Right. Then the other thing we need to ensure that privacy. This is then, uh, the other thing we, we allow search privacy. engines to find our blog. We, if you turn this off, you are website won't rank on google because you are restricting access to your website so the blog address doesn't matter if you want to add a custom domain just do that but i don't recommend it because we're going to be using a free website https is important because it's a ranking factor so let ensure that is is checked then we are going to go ahead and scroll down to all these are just customization features you can play around with them they don't matter that much so the crawlers and indexing is what is really important crawlers in this tape. So this is the most important part. And people if you people who haven't watched the video up to this point are gonna miss this point. So what you need to do is to go ahead and enable this feature by enabling this. It will not be enabled as uh, for you when you're just starting out. So you just you click on enable it. Then once you have enabled it, it will ask you for the custom robots.txt um file so if you don't have that you will head over to labnow.org i'll leave a link to this website it's free and i'm not an affiliate for this it is free 100 percent free they are a partner with google that allows uh blogger websites to generate sitemaps and you will see in their sitemap they have a partner something like that that uh, allows google to approve their sitemap so you just i'll leave a link to this you don't worry you don't need to worry about that i'll leave a link to this so that you just click on it text your website enter your url and uh, to generate a sitemap for you it doesn't matter whether your website is new and uh, that is it so we have already added it. so you just paste that uh cast whatever that whatever the, the website that. gives you paste it here That's and it. click So once you have already submitted your custom robots.txt file, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and update the Google Search Console settings. So to update that, just simply click on the Google Search Console and it will take you to Google Search Console. So what you need to do here is you just need to create a Google Search Console as account and then uh, connect your blogger website. So for this, for this example, I've already connected this, but... Uh, it will ask you for a specific link and that's the link to your uh, blog or website so if you don't know how to do that it's really simple just set over to google search console then add your url which will be the blogger dot blogs whatever your niche is dot blogspot.com then click continue and it will automatically confirm that because they are, they are it is an affiliated product so that is easy and it will not take you any time because we're going to be using uh, Google Search Console to submit our URLs for indexing. So that's why this step is really important and you must ensure that you have this out of the bag as soon as possible. So bag. the other settings here are useless and you, you can settings. just feel free to play around with them. But the next thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to our website. So you, as you can see, we, the website here looks... Uh, empty and we don't have any content on it but i'm going to show you that in the future videos on how to find us the specific articles to add on your website the first 20 articles on how to find them and these are going to be low competition so you rank easily in no time so what you're going to do here 
and we're gonna head over to yeah. the socials here so if you click on the socials here you can see that uh, these socials are leading to the social medias of uh, these specific uh, template owners so we need to change that so what we're gonna do is you're gonna head over to Facebook and create uh, a Facebook page so this is gonna be Facebook. your personal Facebook page for your specific uh, blog spot do, 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 dot com website so you go ahead create a page head over to reddit create an account with reddit then you head reddit. over to pinterest create a pinterest uh, business profile and instagram yeah. so remember the social the social media so platforms you're using so here are the ones that make sense for your niche if your audience does not appear is not represented on a specific social platform then don't uh, don't don't add uh, this the social plugin here so what you need to do is to delete all the social media platforms that are not relevant to your specific niche so for my example this is a numerology niche it would work well on instagram and uh, pinterest even facebook because they are facebook groups so i can join a couple of facebook groups that way so reddit has a couple of subreddits related to numerology so it will make sense so I hope you get the idea of the social media plugin so what you're gonna be using these social media plugin these social media platforms for is we are gonna be doing simple social media marketing and this social media marketing enables our content to rank on Google by just using the power of social media if something is ranking on Google and uh, as being shared on social media then that means that's a good piece of content so we're going to be using that strategy and i will explain that in the next video on how to optimize your specific social media platform so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're new and this is going to do it for this yeah. video so go ahead and take uh, action on this part two of this series so that is it for